Spanish was really important for me because I speak Spanish more of the time. I, I, I understand English, but it's different when I feel the prayers, the mass in my own language. It's so important for me that we have the opportunity to to listen and to learn and to really live with people that know how to speak Spanish too. And it's really important for me um, to because I want to be with the people here speaking English, but understand really whatever I am saying to them and whatever I am sharing to them, that I really know the things that I want to say. And for the very first time, the Conference of Major Religious have invited the Hispanic sisters to come together and do a study of consecrated life the consecrated life from the beginning of the church teachings. Many times we do the readings, we do the liturgical hours, we do all the different things without realizing that the church fathers were out there doing so many things for us. And so this past week we studied the, um, the different martyrdom of the, uh, of the saints. And this, this week we are now studying our Greek fathers and our Latin fathers and what they did. The most important thing of all this is that so many religious communities have been able to come together and as Spanish speaking sisters we agree that we don't have enough of this. The ongoing education of the sisters in the United States for the Spanish sisters is really not, not there and for the conference to do this it's a big awakening for us and we're in gratitude. We're thankful that you did this. con la conferencia de superioras mayores religiosas porque al tomar esta iniciativa nos está dando una oportunidad a todas de salir adelante, de estar más unidas, de sentirnos con apoyo, que alguien está detrás de nosotras apoyándonos, porque muchas veces sentimos que todos estos grupos, todas estas conferencias eh, pasan aquí, pasan allá y nosotros seguimos en, en nuestra parroquia haciendo lo que hacemos, pero eh, muchas gracias por la oportunidad que nos han dado de tomarnos en cuenta y que este, también estamos acá en este país que es um, de alguna forma también nuestro porque estamos todos trabajando acá y, y bueno muchas gracias por todo el trabajo yo sé que no viene de ahora sino que viene tal vez de un pensamiento ya de más atrás de, de poner todo en concreto y planear y no es una cosa de un día a otro sino de mucho trabajo le quiero agradecer a las hermanas de Pax Christi por permitirnos estar aquí con ellas a las hermanas organizadoras, a la madre Éfesus, a, la, a las hermanas de Tocos y, bueno, al Consejo de Superiores Mayores. Muchas gracias. I am very grateful that I have the opportunity to participate in this uh, course about uh, spouses of Christ and daughters of the church. For me, it has been very, very, very important and very uh, enriching. The fact that many of the congregations of uh, Hispanic sisters have been able to gather here to share their charisma, to share our way of life, and to share our community life from the first church, the martyrs, and the, our fathers, that uh, we can see the connection how the church has been guiding us through the edges and being able to, to know our roots more. And this way we uh, value it much more our own, our, our, our own religion and our own vocation. And we see where, from where we are coming from. And, and, and for me, this is, this is a way that I can enjoy more my vocation I can see uh, farther where can I help and, and as our Holy Father said, I can go out of my own little world to help more other people. Responding to the call of Pope Francis, the summer course Esposas de Cristo e Hijas de la Iglesia will study the theme of the Year of Mercy and the story of holy women at the service of mercy through the ages. 
o sea, el jubileo de la misericordia y la historia de las santas mujeres al servicio de la misericordia a través de los siglos. Las inscripciones están todavía abiertas y invitamos a todas las religiosas de habla español. Nos vemos en Corpus Christi.